comes a time in everyone's life that you need a little relaxation, you know? Ready? Listen to this show, yeah. <laughs> Listen to this. That's how it said. Not a Bob Sinclair trap, Gary Prime. But a man called Q to me and tell him on. Yes, man. Oh, yeah. soccer field I just focused on her and tried to pass her and then I passed her right before you go down the cement um, concrete and I just booked it down there I went past the beginning for the first seven seconds and I actually was ahead of the whole pack but Helena Mary passed me next like three seconds or so and then I see within Mary for a while and then Eventually, just got a little bigger and bigger. And Mary passed Helene, so and me and Helene, see how the girl from Alhambra Bro was doing pretty far. Like, I feel like this sprinted too hard for children. But, I don't know. What was your race plan? Um, stay in the middle, which I did, if not better than that. I feel like I stayed more up close than I did in the middle. So 6.15 at the mile and 3.07 at the 800. 
for actually forgot to check my mile split, but at the 800 I had three minutes, so I must have been going out a lot faster than I finished if I finished at like 1322. So first I ran in the rookie boys race, and then I ran in the veteran girls race. It was fun. Um, no. I feel like I did pretty good. I got a good start and I like tried staying behind. I tried to like see like Jet and Sarah the whole time and like I wanted to like push myself as hard as I can even though with the heat and like really like crest the hill at the top. Didn't have the best start, but I caught up with everybody I wanted to be with after the first hill and went down that downhill and kind of dropped a little. Didn't want to use up too much energy. Uh, got up the hill, got to the soccer field, picked it up there and raced to Cookie Hill. And at Cookie Hill, stood up tall, was trying to catch Kevin Fong in front of me. I was I was really focusing on getting him and that is how I got through the race. Yeah. And I finished strong with a 15 second PR. I can't be a girl to my fatigue. And was to hold pretty consistent pace for the first half and try to keep up with Nathan and Everett and Tyler, who are kind of around my speed. And it worked out pretty well. I stayed right behind them until the end. And I finished right by Nathan. I started a little slower than I should have, and then I picked it up a lot after the first uh, initial sprint. And then I slowed down a little too much on the third quarter, and then I tried to go as fast as I could in the last quarter. Well, we wanted to run real close together. And, uh, I think it worked out really well. Um, I think that we could have a good season ahead of us, considering that we have such a, a good pack, such a close pack. Well, uh, everyone ran good times, and it was, it was really hot out. I think it hit like 97 degrees in our race. That could be wrong, I don't know. But yeah, it's uh, something to be excited about that everyone ran fast anyway. As a team, I was really happy with where we were. Everyone ran pretty much what their pace was supposed to be. Nobody really killed themselves, which is alright, because it's a little Ed, but um, I was proud to see that Daniel stuck with the pack and uh, came in right behind Keith, which is uh, it's good. I, I have high hopes for the state.